Right, this may not look like your typical sporting event. It's video of Jesse Strawham competing in one for people with disabilities. It was just a couple of weeks ago. Though she didn't get that weight lifted, you can see how it doesn't get her down. Jesse's life isn't anything like she thought it would be just a few years ago. Yeah, for a while she was in a very dark place. And as Bob Buckley shows you in tonight's Buckley Report, Jesse's life changed significantly, and it's much of what led to her becoming a star on social media. Although she was already in her early 20s, Jessie Strahan is convinced her life didn't begin until one day in 2015. Take me back to that day, six years ago, seven years ago. Oh, it was beautiful. It was a January day in 60 degrees in Charlotte, North Carolina, in perfect day to go ride a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So my friend called me and he said, hey, do you want to go for a ride on the bike? I said, absolutely. What happened? Uh, we left a traffic light heading towards Charlotte on Brookshire Boulevard and a woman made a U-turn in front of us. I went over her SUV, broke my back in two places, my chest completely collapsed, my ribs punctured my lungs, nicking my spinal cord. I have a traumatic brain injury and I coded twice and had to be resuscitated. And paralyzed from the chest down. Becoming a paraplegic is the greatest blessing that could have ever happened to me. Most people wouldn't react the way you did. They would not take it as a blessing, they would take it as a curse. I didn't take it as a blessing in the beginning. Um, I had a 22 rifle in the corner of my bedroom. And a lot of times I looked at that and I was like, you know, I could just end it. Like back here. Jesse's mother, Jackie, certainly didn't see the blessing. Like, not? No. <laughs> at least. No, because. Not at first. I see her struggle every day too. When I look in the mirror and I see my fit self, I'm like, okay girl, I see you. And, and that makes me feel good inside. It gives me confidence. Jessie uses her Wheel With Me brand to inspire the more than a quarter million followers she has on TikTok and nearly 200,000 on other social media. I am so excited, you guys. So it didn't start out that way. I first realized the power of social media. I had a meltdown in a hotel room and I posted it to YouTube. Oh, you see that wheelchair? Guess what? I fell out of it and I'm on the floor now. None of you understand what it takes to get back in that fucking chair. None of you understand what it takes to travel all the fucking medical bullshit that I have to pack. It had 50,000 views in a matter of months. She still works full time in an orthodontics office. Did you have that quesadilla for lunch? And lives at home with her parents. Oh, well, you know what would be really good on those potatoes? Because for Jesse Strahan. Were you going to do laundry today? Home is not just where the heart is, <laughs> it's where she is found. This is the one I want. The meaning to her life. My mom is, is the sole reason I'm as independent as I am today. And I, I can't thank her enough for pushing me as hard as she did. She, she gave me resilience and strength and independence. And that independence is the most powerful thing anybody can have. And especially people with disabilities. And so often their families coddle them and do everything for them and don't allow them to fall. And that failure and that falling and me cussing at her and crying and being so frustrated, that's what made me into the strong woman I am today. That's what made me grateful for my injury because I was able to get over the struggle and see the blessing. <laughs> That's the gift she's now trying to give to others. So often we become so consumed with what's been lost, we don't look at what's been gained. Oh, you want that? You want some wheelies? Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News. <laughs> I can go down the front. What an inspiration. Jessie's Wheel With Me fitness app is now available in the Apple Store and Google Play. She has a book titled Power in the Role, which is due out early next year.